Welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to chain multiple filters with FFmpeg. First, let's look at how we run a video filter. Let's import our video, input.mp4, and let's use the VF filter, so video filter, right? And we're going to do a negate. So let's look at that as an mp4. The original, nice and blue. The new one, yellow and orange. Now, what if I wanted to do like a horizontal flip to this video, right? If I wanted to do both filters at the exact same time, it's actually pretty simple with the comma syntax. So we can do ffmpeg, we input that mp4 again, we use video f again, make sure you put it in quotes, and we're gonna do first the flip, uh, each flip is the filter for horizontal flip, and then we'll do negate, very simple, and then we'll do output.mp4, or out.mp4, we will override. All right, so the original, and then the new. The audio does not get flipped because this is just a video filter. But let's say, for example, we have some variables that we want to pass through, and chaining those are a little more complex. We'll do a filter complex. This time, let's do something, let's do something to the audio of this. We'll do filter complex, a split, so we're going to split our audio in two different channels. So that's going to be main, and then we're going to do temp. And now we're going to have this semicolon. Now this is a new syntax, but this is how we're going to be able to chain this. Now if we grab the temp, which is the one split of a split, and then we do an a reverse, and then we assign that to a new variable, now we have not only temp, but we have a variable new that exists. And now let's take main, and then let's take new, and then we're going to do an A mix. So we're going to mix the two audios on top of each other. So one's going to play forward, one's going to play backwards, and they're going to play at the exact same time. A mix requires an input count, so we're going to do two, and then we're going to assign this to the variable out. Now, if you're not very familiar with map, I know this is going to look very confusing, but we're going to take that out variable, and that's going to be what's part of the output here. So we're going to do, that is the output that mp3. We're going to take that video that we originally had, and now turn it into an audio file that plays reverse and forward at the exact same time. And there you have it. So that's it for the video. If you found it beneficial, I do want to recommend two books that I've written. You can find these up on Amazon. First one, FFMPEG for Beginners. Full color book, over 100 questions answered about how to use it for audio, video, and everything in between. As well as this quick guide that's just full of scripts. Uh, super cheap. I'll put a link to these in the show notes. Thanks for checking out the video. Cheers.